How to make a regular tessellation. After the previous investigation, you know that there are only three regular polygons that tessellate. Equilateral triangles, squares, and regular hexagons. So this is a sped up version of what we're about to do. The first thing you need to do in SketchUp is to go to a parallel projection, change the view to a top view, get rid of the person icon, and get rid of the axis. We also need to, to have the large tool set. So select the polygon tool, and the default is a hexagon, but we want four sides, so you type in 4S. You don't need to click on the dialog box, it'll automatically do it for you. Next, we want to highlight the square here and make a component and uh, use the Move Copy Tool and hold Option or Control. You can see a little plus sign next to the, the arrow. And we can click and copy the square. And I can make a line of squares. I want to make sure that I grab the corner and snap it onto the corresponding edge. If I don't do that, it it won't snap for me like I'm doing here, so I want to grab the corner that will, will correlate to a, a sharing vertex. So now I can color the squares with the paint bucket tool and select the entire figure and copy it again using Option for Mac or Control for PC, clicking and snapping and there's different ways you can do this. I can run this diagonally so I get an interesting pattern. I could just copy and, and paste the previous figure and I, I very quickly fill the entire frame with this tessellation. An easy way to select the entire figure would be Control A for PC or Option A for Mac. Once I've done this enough, I, I can zoom back in so that uh, I don't have any dead space around the edges. So at this point, I'm going to go to File and Export 2D Graphic. And then my little dialog box comes up and I click the file where I want to save the image. And I can save it as a PNG file or a JPEG file and there are options for the size of the file that I want there and then I just click export to the place where I want it to go and that's it. It creates an image of my SketchUp drawing and that's it. So let's try another one here. Uh, we've already done a square. How about we do a hexagon? So I'm starting with a, a new drawing, so I need to get rid of the axis and go to a parallel projection, a top view, get rid of the figure icon there, and I've got my large tool set out. I want to go to the polygon tool, and this time I'm going to type in 6S, although my default's already 6, but if it's not, I can type in 6S, enter, and get a a hexagon. So I'm going to create my hexagon here. Taking my time. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to use. So now I'm going to select the entire hexagon and use the Move Copy tool, hold Option or Control. And you can see I, I can make a honeycomb pattern with hexagons, but I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to use the Line tool, which looks like a little pencil. And I'm going to go from a vertex to the center. If I hover it at the center, it'll let me know that that's the center. And then I'm going to skip a vertex and make another segment to an opposite vertex. So I end up getting three uh, rhombuses in the hexagon figure that I started with. So now I'm going to color the three different uh, 
shapes that I have within the hexagon. And at this point, I'm going to again select the entire figure, use the Move Copy Tool, hold Option for Mac or Control for PC. You'll see the little plus next to the arrows icon. And I want it to snap onto a vertex, corresponding vertex. And I'm going to make a row of these and select all of it and continue to copy and paste filling the entire page and at some point I'm going to say that's enough and zoom in so I don't have any dead space around the edges and then export the image like we just did go to file export 2D graphic and then put it where I want it so I can upload it later to submit. So we use the regular polygon hexagon in order to create this tessellation but did a little bit more to turn it into a 3D like cubic image. I hope you like it.